Hi, you guys. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Candy and this is Stuff in Budget. Today is Taco Tuesday, so I'm super excited. We're going to be stuffing our taco and also our 100 envelope challenge. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to start off with our 100 envelope challenge. Let's put these guys over here to the side for a second. And today we are going to be stuffing, let's see, I need a magnifying glass. <laughs> we're gonna be stuffing our number 16 and our 83. So in our 16, we're gonna be putting $20, which is here. And then in our 83, we are going to be putting in $80, which is right here. Um, ah. So we've got our 50, 70, 80 dollars. Isn't this prop? I always say this, but this prop money is like amazing. And I'll have this linked in the description below. It's from Amazon. So let's go ahead and color in our two little envelopes. All right, I wasn't prepared with my Sharpie, but I have it now. So we are going to color in. Actually, let's get the envelopes out so I don't forget. So 16 should be right here because that's the only one left in that row super exciting all right i'm going to put my little paper clip there so number 16 this is a coffee themed 100 envelope challenge and i'll have this also listed in the description if you guys are interested so let's go ahead and stick our 20 right in here and for those of you guys that are new here all of this this is prop money that i'm using and all of the real money that I used to stuff this is going into my 2024 401k contribution. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Scratch that, not my 401k, my Roth IRA contribution. And we are working on that. And I'm also, I don't know if I already put money in there, but I, did I show you guys? I don't think I did. So I create, you know what, let me finish, let me, let me finish so I don't get all messed up. Okay, so let me, I always get so ahead of myself, you guys. All right, so I colored in the 16. Let's color in the 83 and let's grab that 83 envelope. Ooh, perfect. 83 right there. Let's stick that right there. All right, and then let's put our $83 in here. Again, we have 50, 70, 80. I love this so much, okay. Someone had said, don't crease the crease all the way and it'll be easier to unstuff when we do unstuff. So, and the reason why I'm still doing prop money is because I like the visual of, I like, I'm a visual person. So I like seeing what I'm doing and actually doing something with something, if that makes sense. <laughs> you guys are like, you talk gibberish. I know, I'm sorry, I apologize. All right, so there's that. And then I wanted to show you guys my little tracker. So this is what I came up with. I made this and when I printed it out, it printed kind of weird. I don't think it had the right setting for this paper, but I just love this so much. I think it came out really, really cute. And it is a Roth Max Out 2024 tracker. And I think the most you can contribute is $7,000. So I just made each little circle worth $100 and we have seven rows of 10. So each row will be that $100. I mean, each row will be $1,000. So right now, I currently have $21.69. And if we, let me get my calculator. Where is my calculator? Okay, so $21.69, which is why we have $2,100 uh, colored in because I don't have enough. I didn't have enough to color in another circle. So $21.69 plus... Um, what did we just stuff? $20 plus $80 equals, now I'm going to have, and I need to make myself a little, like a actual tracker that I could fill in. So right now we are going to have $22.69. And so let's go ahead and color in another circle because we can. And let me get a marker. Again, I was not prepared to even do this and I totally forgot about this until like I was talking about it. So we'll just color in this little coin circle. And yeah, so we are making progress and that is so exciting, you guys. So maybe next time I'll have a better <laughs> better little thing besides a post-it note, but hey, post-it notes work, right? Okay, so I did that and I don't have that up in my shop, but if you guys are interested, just message me and you know, we'll see. 
well, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know anything about anything right now. All I know is that we need to stuff this taco. All right, so we have to play with today. And I actually budgeted... budgeted, budgeted. <laughs> I actually budgeted... Budgeted? Budgeted. $30. I think it's $30. 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yes, I budgeted $30 for each Taco Tuesday of the month. And the where the where I'm the the way I'm getting money to play my games, I used to stuff my sinking funds out of my paycheck, but I had stopped stuffing my sinking funds because at the end of the month, I use all of the money from my finished challenges and do a randomizer and stuff those sinking funds. But what I decided to do was to take all of my side hustle income, so my Etsy paychecks, my YouTube, and then a couple other things I do on the side, I decided to gather up that whole amount and then take a percentage of that and use that to play my games. And of course, I don't, you know, if it's not that much, then I do still pull money from my actual paycheck since I'm still not, still not stuffing my sinking funds to a lot to make up for, you know, how much I want to play. So for like my mini Mondays, it's $50 a week. For my Taco Tuesdays, it's $30 a week. And then for my game time, I like to do at least $175 a week. So I think since I'm going to be actually pulling money from my Etsy and YouTube, that should help out with that because before what I was doing with that money is I was just leaving it in its own bank account and using that money to then buy, you know, supplies that I needed for my Etsy and whatever I needed for like my, my stuff, you know, my toner, my, my shipping supplies, all of that stuff. I was just using a credit card so I can earn points and having that money in that checking account pay that credit card so I didn't even really need to think about anything but I thought that since that account is now growing I put some in a high yield savings account and then I'm gonna now going forward budget out those that that income from those sources to play games sorry I just went on a big old tangent but I didn't know if you guys were wondering I have a lot of new subscribers so hi thank you guys so much for subscribing and I'm so glad you guys are here and my returning subscribers you know I love you guys and my members you know I just I really love you guys <laughs> so let's go ahead and play I just started talking and I do that when I'm tired I just start rambling so I need to like hone it in, bring it back, and we will start playing. So one of my members, Trina, she gifted me this little taco paper clip. So cute. We've got our mad dogging little pile of poo-poo there. <laughs> and let's get started. So we are going to play our layered taco first. This is from the Thrifty Sewist, and it is just super, super cute. We are on the tortilla. So let me put this to the side, and let me get my little scratcher tool. And let's go ahead and start scratching. All right, so. Okay, you guys, $1. Let's go ahead and scratch another one. I might get into trouble, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. Ah, you guys. <laughs> no, look, we got another one. Ah, oh, it's a $10. Oh my goodness, okay. You know what? Whatever. It would have been a $10 next time I played too, right? Next time I scratched it. So there's my $11. Let's see how much we have. And you guys probably didn't even notice, and I always tell on myself, but my nails, I need to get my nails done. They are looking a little ratchet. <laughs> oh, man. That is so funny. Speaking of ratchet, I created a savings challenge, you guys. It's pretty hilarious. I'm going to be showing you guys on Thursday, so tune in on Thursday for that one. But, okay, so now for our layered taco, we have 10 25 26 27 28 29 dollars 29 dollars and i don't know what the full amount is for this and i say that all the time i guess i should check but you know what it doesn't matter but i just love this it's so cute if you guys haven't seen it it's all the layers of a taco so you've got your um, tortilla the meat the lettuce the tomato cheese and hot sauce okay so let's put this one back here Next up is our Boy Mom Loves to Save, our O Taco Tree. We are almost done with this, you guys. 
So let's go ahead and scratch and see what we've got. Let's do this one. Okay, I'm gonna keep my vacuum over here because I can't be like cross like this, like ch -ch -ch -ch. <laughs> seven dollars five six seven let's see how much we've got all together all right so we have 20 40 65 70 5 76 77 let's go ahead and grab a 10 and put those two fives back okay and then we'll grab a 10 ah all right, whatever. That's just going to be curled like that, and it's fine. Perfect. And this is a $100 challenge, so we are almost there, guys. All right. I don't think we're going to be playing much longer because next up is our life of life. <laughs> life with Bobby. I was going to say life of Bobby. Life with Bobby. Our taco challenge cards, you guys. And these are just so stinking cute, but they kill me every time. So cross our fingers that we don't use all of the money, but let's go ahead and scratch this. And I play one card as one scratch. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Okay, we're gonna take those two fives and put them in our challenge here. So let's just put these to the back. And let's see where we're at here. I think we're maybe about halfway. Let's see. Mm, maybe just one or two more and then we'll be halfway. But next up is a cute little taco with a little face. All right, so let's put that over here and then let's see how much we have all together. All right. We've got a lot of money in here, you guys. We should condense this down. Maybe I'll throw in a $100 bill or something. So we got 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. I think I have a $100 bill. Let me see. And then we'll condense this really quick because I don't want this taco binder to get so fat. So fat. All right. Because I don't want it to get ruined. I don't have a hundred, but I have two fifties. So I'm gonna take this and put that where I got the fifties and that'll be it. So we've got 50, 100, 510, 15, 25, 26, 27. So 127 dollars. My guess for the total of the box challenge is 300, maybe 250, 300. So we shall see. Oh, I still have a few more dollars, you guys. Next up is our most wanted. Oh, this one might be a doozy because if you find the taco, we have to save $20. Eek. I am scared, you guys. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to roll a dice and let that count for me. So three. So we're going to go one, two, three. That'll be my little scratcher. I didn't want to get out my roller, but um, let's see. Ah, you guys... OMG. So I was not going to pick this one. Wait, is that the taco? Because there's a three right here. But it says when you find the taco, save $20. And that's the taco, right? So I owe $23, you guys. <gasps> OMG. I was going to scratch this one and I should have just went with my gut. But I guess it doesn't matter because it would have been what it was anytime I played that. $23, you guys. Ah, oh, crap. So that means I'm going to have a $21 IOU. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You guys, my face right now is like this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. A $21 IOU. Wow. I think, I think that... Okay, so should we just skip next Taco Tuesday and just pay my IOU? Because <laughs> that's what it is, right? Okay, $21. $21. Wow. All right, let's see. Let's see. Get over it, Candy. Okay. Um, We have 10, 15, 20, 5. Wait, what is this? 
10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 dollars in our most wanted taco and you know what since i have some money over here to condense let me do that so five ten let me just do this one two three four five and a five let's get this one is ten and let's go ahead and grab a ten from my little pile and that is better and then you know what i'm going to do i'm going to put these back two tens and I'm going to grab a 20. All right, there we go. So $27. That's a lot better. That way we're not so chunky in our envelopes. We've got our IOU here. Um, I guess I need two paper clips, right? Or you know what? I'll just put the IOU here and then we know that we're going to play the next one next time. All right, you guys. So let's put this away. Now, I wanted to show you guys something. I created a taco challenge. Okay, so this was the taco challenge that I had created before. This was the only taco challenge that I had. Someone had asked me if I was going to be making any more, and so I did. I made one more, and let me show it to you guys. It is so cute and kind of sad, right? <laughs> like, after I made it, I was like... Mm, that's kind of morbid but it says tacos on monday be like and then he's all crying because he's like scared crying and this guy is like shaking in his boots or whatever kind of shoes those are <laughs> but i just thought this was so cute you guys tacos on monday be like ah. and so i don't have an amount on here because i do have a times two so i believe the amounts are you know either one through nine or nine and under there's no tens in there but there is a times two somewhere under there so if you scratch off a times two the next one you scratch you gotta multiply by two but this is so cute and it should be up in my shop already but i wanted to do a giveaway so i want to give away two of these so if you guys want to be entered into the giveaway for this tacos on monday be like put a hashtag monday in the comments and this will close, let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This will close on Saturday at 8 p.m. Pacific time. So this will run until Saturday, 8 p.m. Pacific time. And then I will announce the winner on my next Taco Tuesday. So two of you guys are going to get this challenge. And I just love it. I think it's so cute. All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. And... I hope you guys have a great night or day or morning or whenever it is that you're watching this. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.